The world is in West Asia marks its first year anniversary. Thousands have lost their lives, properties have been reduced to rubble, and the economies involved have taken a big hit. The likelihood of permanent economic disruptions has grown as the conflict in West Asia has intensified and widened beyond Israel and Hamas. The biggest hit is coming from the disruptions in the Red Sea shipping route. This next report tells you how the war is panning out for West Asian economies. The war in Gaza has come as a black swan event for Israel, which was holding up amid the global economic downturn. But a year since, the Israeli economy has been ravished, with credit rating agencies downgrading the country's outlook. The war in Gaza against Hamas and now in Lebanon against Hezbollah has continued amid rising economic costs for the Jewish nation. Labor shortage is an immediate effect of the war. Other lingering economic woes have come to the fourth. Inflation has surged with the rise in cost of key items like fruits and vegetables. The prolonged war has hit Israel's GDP, with credit rating agencies downgrading the country's outlook. Real GDP growth is now projected to stagnate at 0% in 2024, compared to an earlier forecast of 0.5%. The downgrades underscore a chilling reality. War extracts a heavy toll not only in terms of human lives but also in economic stability. The Israeli economy faces severe consequences as military actions intensify, with the potential for long-term damage exceeding early expectations. The government is working overtime to cushion the war's economic impact. Israel's central bank, the Bank of Israel, has an even tougher task at hand. It not only has to spur already moderating growth rates, but also check the fall of the shekel amid a fiscal challenge to fund the war. Israel has often bounced back strongly from multiple wars in the past seven decades. The government and the central bank are banking on time-tested resilience to tide over the crisis. But for now, the fog of war has engulfed the Israeli economy. The Israel-Hamas war has triggered a cascade of economic challenges in West Bank. The International Labour Organization reports a 32% job loss. The World Bank estimates a potential 6% fall in GDP this year. Israel's withdrawal of 130,000 work permits further exacerbates the situation, leaving many Palestinians without a source of income. The economic contraction is evident in various sectors. The Palestinian economy is already strained. The current crisis underscores its vulnerability leaving businesses on the brink and communities grappling with an uncertain future. The conflict has widened, with Iran entering the fray recently. G7 leaders expressed strong concern over the situation and emphasized the necessity for diplomatic solutions to prevent a wider regional conflict. They collectively condemned Iran's actions, signaling a unified stance against escalating hostilities. During the G7 call, President Joe Biden reiterated the United States' unwavering support for Israel. He pledged to impose new sanctions on Iran in response to the missile attack. With Iran already facing over 5,000 sanctions since 1979, the G7 aims to tighten these measures in light of Iran's perceived threats to regional stability and security. Beyond the parties directly involved in the war, Kristalina Georgieva, Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, has issued warnings about the region's growth prospects. The fund has revised its GDP growth forecast for West Asia and North Africa, down to 2.9% this year. Georgieva highlighted the recent flare-up in violence, disrupting regional tourism and trade, particularly impacting neighbouring economies like Egypt and Jordan. Attacks in the Red Sea have increased freight costs globally. The Houthis' attacks targeting commercial vessels have further exacerbated the situation and weighed on global trade. All of these dent the growth prospects of several economies in the region and beyond, still recovering from previous shocks. Business Bureau Report, Weon, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.